Welcome back to the Common Connected Podcast. It has been so long since I've recorded and I'm so glad to be back and sharing thoughts with you again. COVID has been a challenging time and I decided sort of midway through as things were going that I was going to put a pause on creating more podcasts so I could focus on supporting my own kids as they were remote learning and making some new resources for you as well. And the thing that I really kept thinking about when I made that decision is the the, the quote, you can do anything, but not everything. So I decided to put a pause on the podcast until I was ready to come back. And now I'm here. And so I'm excited to be back with you and share some ideas. You know, now that we're moving on to the next phase of living through this life in the pandemic, I know in Massachusetts, where I am, a lot of things have opened up. Um, people who are vaccinated can be without masks. I'm starting to see my clients in person again. And that's really fun. Um, and our numbers are at a low, stores and restaurants are opening up again. So lots of things are changing and feeling a little bit more normal, like pre-COVID. But, you know, it's still not quite there yet. One thing I truly missed doing last year was meeting with my clients in person. I met with them on video and we got creative and we were able to make it work. I've learned a lot about what games work really well um, remotely. So Battleship is great remote, um, as is Guess Who. There's great online games that you can play that, you know, people have created all these slideshows where you can do games and activities together. But really, we and I used to I actually also sent them packages. I, I sent them packages so we could do activities together. So we would have both sets of materials together. So um, we even did a little mindfulness using chocolate. And I sent them some chocolate um, so we could do it together. But you know what about mid early April, I was kind of done. I was done with Zoom. I was done with Google Meet and I just wanted to see them in person. So I went ahead and got myself vaccinated. And as soon as I could, I started seeing my youngest clients in person because those were the ones I was really concerned about. Um, those are the ones I usually play games with. And it's really challenging to continue that connection when we've started our work together in person. So we were able to make it work for a pretty significant chunk of time, but I was very excited to come and start meeting with them again in person. So because this was such an impactful and unique year, I wanted to do some processing with my clients when we first started getting back together. So I've been doing a simple exercise with them. I asked them four different questions and they're sort of related to COVID and life living and living life in quarantine. So first, I ask what they are happy to leave behind in quarantine and Corona time. What are you excited to not have to do anymore? And one of the things I've been getting a lot is, you know, I'm excited not to have to wear a mask anymore. I'm excited that I can hug my grandma again. And, I, and I'm excited that I can see my family again. I'm happy to leave that sort of quarantine, socially, physically distancing behind. I'm excited to get back together and, and, um, and be with other people. So that's what I'm hearing from my clients. The next thing I ask is what they want to bring with them from Corona time. So there are some good things about what has happened in Corona time. I think about, um, you know, the episode I did called Silver Linings, um, and I can link to that in the show notes. There are some things that have been good. There are some positives that have come out of Corona. And so I wanted them to be able to identify that and talk about that. So some examples of answers I've been hearing are communicating with friends over video anytime um, and being able to connect with people even when it's not, um, you know, in person to be able to still talk with people um, and talk with friends and make connections that way. Um, hanging out with my pets more, playing board games with my family. Those are things that pe the kids that I work with want to continue to do. Then the third question I ask is if there was anything they learned about themselves. So um, I've had kids say some things like, I've learned how to ride my bike. I learned that I like inventing. I learned that I'm good at making new friends. So, or I'm really good at painting, or I like not being around people. <laughs> you know, maybe I, I've had a couple of people really discover that they kind of more more introverted than they thought. Um, so interesting question to just see what they've learned about themselves. And then finally, I ask, have you been inspired to do anything in the future? So I've heard ideas about businesses that they want to start, inventions they want to make, places they want to go. So 
it's really cool to just have the conversation, that processing piece of understanding there are things that we're happy to leave behind, things that we want to take with us, things that we learned about ourselves, and things that we got inspired to do while we were in quarantine and while we were living through the toughest part of a pandemic, at least where we are. So I want you to feel free to use these question prompts to help process this unprecedented years with your student, clients, or your families. I actually asked these questions the other night at dinner to hear what my own kids had to say, and I was interested to hear their answers. So that was a really nice way that we could all connect and understand um, more about what we are all feeling and experiencing as we live through Corona. And you can also do this for yourself. What are you ready to be done with? What did you want to take with you from Corona? What did you learn about yourself? And have you been inspired to do anything? I started this process for myself as well, asking myself these questions and writing down the answers. And really the thing that I tended to focus on as I was working through this was the inspiration part. So I've been inspired actually to create so many new things over um, the quarantine. And I just wanted to share a couple of new things that are coming out of Coping Skills for Kids because of the time I've had to sit and think and get a little bit of an opportunity to really take a step back and think about some different products that I wanted to create. So first, actually, during quarantine, a few months ago, I actually launched a course for professionals working with teens who have anxiety. So I wanted to share some of my favorite coping skills that I use with teens, some different ways that I like to get teens to try new ideas. And um, it's really based on the Coping Skills for Teens workbook. And so if you want to learn more about that course, you can go to courses.copingskillsforkids.com. And it's um, three CE hours for NBCC credit. So if you're interested in that, that's something that you are looking for, something you want to do. Just get a little bit more um, insight or ideas of uh, strategies you can use with teens. It would be a great course for you to try and, and take a peek at. I also have um, a few different uh, products coming out soon. We've been working on a sensory activity book, and I'm really excited about it. I just had one of my OT colleagues just take a look at it, and they were thrilled. And so I'm excited to finish up the editing process and get that out to you. And then the other thing that I've been working on is something called Our Reset Space. So that is really focused on um, helping kids manage their emotions at school and it's like a calm down spot or a peace corner but the coping skills for kids twist on it it has a lot of different coping skills that are school friendly so that would be great for those of you who are working in schools school counselors elementary school teachers um, special educators so keep an eye out for that Um, stay tuned for more of that in the coming weeks and I've also been inspired to do more interview podcast and so I've started talking to some of the um, professionals I've been working with some of the other experts um, whose podcasts I've been on um, and just gotten to know over the years and I've started to say like I would love to have you come on to my podcast so stay tuned for being able to hear from some of the professionals that are in the space of mental health and um, helping kids with anxiety helping kids manage their anger all sorts of things so I'm looking forward to having some experts come on and be able to share their wisdom with you. And I just wanted to thank you. Thank you so much for continuing to listen and to support this podcast. Even though I haven't put out a podcast episode in a long time, I still get daily downloads, which is so surprising and wonderful. It means a lot to me. And I'm excited for what's to come. So I just want to leave you with, as always, do not forget about yourself. Take a few minutes for you and have a little fun. Have an awesome day. 